Hey guys, Mercy and I got back from our solo road trip to Florida um, two days ago. I'm having a real situation with her crib. Um, I had fully intended when I got home from Florida to do Dr. Sears's handoff method. And that's where the mom like nurses the baby and gets the baby almost to sleep and then hands off to dad to finish putting to sleep and putting down in the crib. Well, yesterday I put Mercy in her crib just for a second while I went into our closet and I turned my head around and she's got her leg like almost to the top of the rail trying to climb out. Um, so that's just not going to work. Like I can't put her down in the crib. Uh, no. And I don't think that she's ready for a toddler bed. So. My plan is to sidecar the crib next to the bed, um, and I don't know how it's going to work because we've got a frame. So um, that's the plan, and I've seen people on YouTube take um, pool noodles and like kind of fill the gap if there is a gap. So, guys, I wanted to show you this sweet little um, onesie that I just got in the mail. I ordered it on Etsy because Mercy outgrew her other little rainbow shirt. It's from um, a shop on there called Biddy and Boho. They don't know me. This isn't like, you don't get an offer code or anything. But I had ordered one for her um, about a year ago from them. And it was so cute. Like better than any of the other ones that I saw. So isn't it sweet? Like the, even the stars have like glitter. Um, not real glitter, but it like screen printed to look like glitter. It's really cute. I can't wait to try it on her. because my mattress is like an inch taller than Mercy's crib mattress but when I lay down on my mattress it kind of flattens out a little bit so I don't know I mean the thing to keep in mind is that she's not going to be there unless she is with me or <laughs> or she's being watched on the monitor so um you know this is not like putting her in a crib with one side down like in her own nursery so also it looks like it's really time to run the room but i was like swiffering around here but um <laughs> it looks like it needs to go into the bed so i'm going to do that right now and go do some laundry and take some time to play with my girl here. That's what I really want to do is I want to play with my girl. Mwah.
I'm going to try to put Mercy in the sidecar crib tonight. Um, I tried earlier to um, put her down for a nap, but she wasn't tired because she already took like an hour and 20 minute one. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's gonna work. Um, I've heard other people say good things about this method, so hopefully it will give us some relief and let us have a better night's sleep um, and be a good bridge to the transition to a toddler bed. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a little update on the sidecar crib situation. Um, not working out exactly as I planned. Um, there is a little bit of a level difference um, with the crib being a little too low, but I think I found the solution. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so as you can see, like my bed is higher than her crib. So it's been really hurting my back and neck um, when I'm nursing her. But I went to Ikea and I found this like really thin crib mattress. Um, so I'm gonna try putting this underneath her um, crib. Okay, so now she's just slightly higher than my mattress. Um, I think that that might be okay because it will, um, I think it might work out with the breastfeeding, but it's definitely not as easy as I thought. I'm really hoping that it will work for us because I need, I just really need some relief with the sleep situation. I like having her close to me. Um, but I do want her to have her own space. And also I wanted to say that I'm not as worried about like a gap or anything like that because she is 17 months old. She just moved the, cam the camera. <laughs> um, she is 17 months old. So the gap just, you know, I'm not worried about her like suffocating like I would be with a newborn or, you know, in the first year. Um, so, I'll let you know if this works out. Wish me luck. I pull like this corner down because if I leave it, if I leave it like tucked in between my bed and the crib, I just like, it's just too much at night. So I don't have to like crawl in there, but this way I can get in and out and it just works out better for us. She used to sleep between us and sometimes she still does when she wakes up in the middle of the night, but at least we get part of the night sleeping alone now.